but I hadn't planned on video on this and I don't really don't know if I will I'm by myself obviously they didn't find the inside of my trap appealing so they have built on the bottom of it all the way around up in there so I, I can see six pieces six sheets whatever you want to call them Home. They're doing really well, actually. Uh, it's not the best day to do this. It could come a chance of rain in a little bit, but I'm going to. I've got everything ready here. I've got another box that I'm going to put them into, but I went ahead and got five or six frames ready with my rubber bands. Uh, queen catcher because number one I'm gonna try to catch her as quick as I can if I can find her and set her aside or set her down in the bottom of the box so maybe that will help in this process uh, also without permission of my wife took one of our nicer uh, kitchen knives a serrated edge that I'm going to use to come up and carefully go down the bottom of this board and cut off each layer one at a time and my biggest concern in doing this obviously is what if i'm cutting down through there carefully and it doesn't matter how careful i am if i nick the queen or kill the queen then i got a problem but i really don't have any other ideas on how to do this i can't video the whole process that's going to take forever i'll just take out a couple of sheets and if i can find the queen then i'll show you that part and show you how it looks when it's in rubber bands Basically, it'd be all down in there. They'll all be rubber banded in. And if they stay with it, they will uh, keep building and take the rubber bands off and spit them out. But eventually, I would move it to a permanent hive. So this, uh, this video is already two minutes long, and I don't want to make a long one. So let me go ahead and turn this off and get started, and I'll give you some updates. So here's the first piece or slab, whatever you can call it, piled in there. I'm trying to do a thorough inspection of this and make sure she's not on there. There's definitely a queen though, because there's brood up in here. She's she's probably on further deep, but I don't I don't want to uh, harm her. First she oh, with a little smoke, I can see a little bit better. Um, so easily five more. Uh, I could not find the queen on it first, and I didn't expect her to be there, but I'm adding that she's really dug in deep now. So all right, I'm gonna work on the next one. There's that one right there so far. There she goes. There she is right there. All right, so I know that she is now. All right, here's the first frame. She's still up in there, so I'm gonna have to go find her, but here's the first frame. I don't even know if this is in view. All right, two more sheets to go. And I just, I really screwed up earlier when I saw the queen, instead of getting excited and trying to video her so you could see her, of course I've lost her. I should have grabbed her first. The rest of, this, the rest of this could have been a lot easier, but now I'm just on the lookout for her. It sure would help. Cause I never know if I'm cutting into there, even no matter how gently I'm cutting, she could be walking by on the other side about the time I bring the blade through. And I actually need her to be in the box. So the rest of these will start working their way down. I'll be lucky if I can pull this off. Keep you updated. I've already been stung at least twice, even with gloves on. So here we are. I've got all the uh, frame cut, not frame, cone cut and moved into this extra box. Now I'm just gonna tell you, I made a huge, just a stupid bonehead mistake. As soon as I saw the queen earlier, I thought I'll hurry and video her so y'all can watch her. Dumb, dumb mistake because as soon as I put the phone down to get my queen clip, she was gone. And I haven't seen her since. So that made me cutting out comb even more dangerous I have no idea where she is now. They are, they do appear to be uh, behaving like she's in there. They're not leaving and going anywhere else. 
Got a bunch of them fanning, doing their, you know, doing their butts in the air and doing the fanning thing. Wow, she is doing some serious twerk, twerk fanning. But anyway, I'm going to, uh, there's just a few left over here. Hold on, let me pause. This is the uh, results from the trap that I brought down. I still got a few stragglers on there that are, haven't given up hope on staying at home, I guess. But uh, while well, they wanted an open air, in a little while I'll open up this this trap box and investigate and see what the problem was. We'll see what they didn't what they didn't like about it. I don't know. Uh, but I'm just double check and make sure I don't see her hanging out on here. But I want to try to get all the rest of these at least over to here. Get the top on it and uh, see. I mean, I got a lot of them fanning right here i got all the comb and everything put in there and there's plenty of brew that's why i want to make sure she's not dead because she was doing really well i just made a stupid mistake by letting her disappear from my side i should have got her uh, but they do appear to be uh acting like she's in there and then let's just say worst scenario scenario worst case scenario canario i just created a new word um Something happened to her. There was so much brood and capped and larva and eggs that hopefully they would just make a new queen. But like I said, she seemed really productive, so maybe she's still around. All right, let me let me cut this off right now, and I'll do one final cut. All right, I got all of them off the old box. It does appear that they are figuring out this is the new entrance. Or actually, they didn't have an entrance before. But figuring it out and looking at some of the girls there they're, they're fanning their wings uh, fanning that pheromone so hopefully hopefully the queen did get in there I just learned from my mistake as soon as you see the queen get her I guess I was just trying to get a neat video for viewers but I should have just grabbed the queen and set her down in there in a clip and then moved on but anyway I'm gonna strap this down to this table. I got a level with a couple of sticks. Strap it down for a couple of days and then I'll get it moved. All right, that's the finished product. Um, I have it strapped down to this table here. I'll give it a couple of days. They do seem to be fairly content. Uh, I just hope the queen made it in there without me seeing her again. I hope I didn't end up injuring her or killing her. And if so, then I hope they make another one fairly quick but mistake on my part but otherwise those are a, a lot of work to do that or it was for me a lot of people love doing cutouts and stuff like that but that open air hive on the bottom of the trap box was a lot <laughs> not as fun as I wanted it to be anyway uh, maybe you learn something from this film you just rubber band the combs into open frames move them down Find the queen if you can, catch her first, set her aside, set her down in the box so they know that she's down in there. That's, that was my intention, but uh, then get everything closed down. I'll come back in a couple of days and move this trap to a new location. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Be Paul out.